ET. Welcome to the Sabian of Energy Fusion, and today we will be discussing raising the vibration of the air. One second, I'll be right back. Raising the vibration of the planet. So, you know, you're driving down the road and you see animal. If you ha can withstand it, I recommend putting them in your car where they won't smell, you know, or putting them in a bag, let's say a smaller animal, put it in bag, put it in trunk, and you go home. If you have an altar, and I made a video about the altar, you collect our food and things like this. In a jar, you collect your foods, you, put, you store your foods in there. Everything that you offer to your ancestors, you allow to coagulate into fermenting foods. What you're doing here is making fertilizer, especially you're, if you're a vegan. When, and, and you have a garden, so you know. After, if you see, let's say you see that animal and you pick it up, what you're doing is taking the food from the altar, digging a hole in your backyard, bury the animal, put the food from the altar into the hole with the animal. What you're doing is raising the vibration of the animal because it, it, the death was very low vibrational for its spirit to ascend. You're allowing, you're also offering up the guidance of your ancestors so that this spirit may be properly guided to where they need to be. This helps raise the vibration of the planet because so many animal lives have been given and not have been respected for so long. The animals have been disrespected and they've been the only ones really taking care of the earth. Us as humans, we can't really say we take care of the earth when we out here killing the animals that are allowing the, the life to still grow through their poop, their poop. So we have to pay our respects back to Neter. When we share the essence of our, offer, our altar and our ancestors, that their spirit may be more in a bliss state and not here traumatized like plenty other spirits. What this does though, when you do that in the spirit in your city in the vicinity of where you live this little spirit goes and allows goes and other free other spirits through its powerful essence that it received from your ancestors when you do this you make strongholds as a safe haven for other beings that die or have died in the vicinity to be released of maybe they got stuck here due to a curse. Maybe they got stuck here because their death threw them entirely. Maybe they stuck here because they just don't know. What that the ancestral altar and burying the animal spirit does is to allow them guidance. What it also does is allow you more guidance. So say there's an aspect of yourself that you are having a hard time uh, building and keeping stable as a characteristic you want part of yourself. Let's say the animal that showed up that you bury carries this. Well, guess what? You now have its guiding spirit to build yourself in this area now more powerfully in what you have been seeking. And you can also bury crystals with it as well. That will help the resonance as well. And that will enhance the resonance of the crystals you already have, right? Everything is sharing. Everything in your space has strong energy ties. The longer you're around something, the stronger your energy ties. So let's say you meet a person and your cord was initially this big 
but then you met them. So now you were about this big. Then you began to talk to them, then it got this, this big. You see, so the energetic tube grows. When you put, when you bury crystals, when you bury the food, when you bury the animal in there, well, your tubes are now this big that you share with them. So all of the wisdom and the love and the essences of them imbue into you, back into you, what you have given it for your appreciation and gratitude of it having its life. Because sometimes seeing an animal there could be a completion of a transformation of a state of beingness that you were working to be. It's finally a success. It's telling you that you're now solidified in this part of yourself, time to move on to the next level. So burying them and doing this shows your gratitude and appreciation of them being a reflection in your reality of you have conquered something or the reflection of your reality that you can now um, embrace the, the, the accomplishing something new for yourself that has the essence of this animal spirit, okay? And this is actually how you gain more spirit guides and animal totems. Okay, and let's say this, this is also a more powerful way to get imbued by you, whatever ancestral spirit you call on. Like, for example, the Ifa, you know, you have uh, the Orishas, Ogun, Oshun, say you have one of those on your altar and then you go offer up to an animal who has died, who lives in the state of resonance that they live in, your connection with them becomes more powerful and your ability to work with that element becomes more powerful. When, so when you raise the vibration of the planet, when you do this, because the spirits that are holding bondage here began to free themselves. And if they're not free themselves, then the planet it frees, frees itself because those spirits, because if the spirits are damaged and they're bind here, they're, and if it's enough of them, they bind the soul of the earth. So when you're going around and doing this, you're freeing not only yourself too, because remember, even if you don't, spirit, you aren't aware of these spirits and how they actually are really affecting your reality. You will know then when you wake up feeling lighter or all of a sudden you have a relief that you just freed a decent amount of spirits who are really grateful for your support and protection. And then you're also receiving the love and the abundance from the air for your gratitude, giving back gratitude, okay? So that is all on how to raise the vibration of the earth. Much love and happy ascension and meditation as well. Say you wake up with that energy, excuse me, not the end. Say you wake up that, with that energy and you start meditating. You began to raise your vibration and the air vibration more as well and the vibrations of the people around you. Meditation makes a big difference on the things that you experience and the things that people do around you. Believe it or not, it has been proven a monk that has they put a monk in a and in, in the projects where people die a lot and all the time fighting and things like that put him there for a month and all he did was meditate and it changed it, it lowered the the population of violence just that simple so once you get into even more powerful activities that enhance that state of awareness you rolling you smooth sailing now all of those experiences that you didn't like da, 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 people coming at you this that the way it ain't happening no more now they gotta come to you in some kind of resonance that you are you're now holding everybody who around you on an energetic level to a higher state of awareness okay much love and happy ascension. Shemir Mary Hotel. Go in love and peace. And Dua, thank you for watching. Shim. Yeah. Shim. Ir Ma'at. Let's go do harmonious balance. Ijed Ma'at. I speak harmonious balance. And that is it. Have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. If you like what I got to say and what I share, 
please come support my business, purchase something for yourself. We bring nothing but love and protection in our creations. And the wisdom that you are hearing now comes in that. As long as you meditate with those crystals, you can access the information that I am sharing with you through just meditating with those crystals. Plenty of things you need to learn about crystals. I'll put the link of my web of the website. Come support. You can. I'll put a, a link of my business page on Facebook if you would like to get a custom piece made for yourself. I do necklace, bracelet, ring, earrings. Um, earrings. Uh, I do not do not sell singly. Neither do I do singly sell rings. You will get that free in your in your package. All of my orders are over a hundred dollars. Um, no matter what I'm creating, it, it was going to be over $100. I have reviews now. I'm looking forward to you coming and purchasing. If you like this movement, just even consider just donating. You know, we in and out of homelessness until our business really gets up off the ground. Much love and happy ascension. Come support your girl. She was born with autism. You know, mom, daddy, drug addicts, you know, they don't want to tell me, had to find out on my own. My partner has been helping me recover uh, to uh, upgrade my DNA with foods in order to break free of autism. That's why you see me now when I'm coming through and I'm coming through with all the changes that I made. And you know, you see me try, you can see my transformation. I have my Instagram and things like that. Just check me in. Family come support, you know what I'm saying? Like we need that support, you know, and we created the things we created. We didn't have no money. We had to guild ourselves, you know what I said? So it just hit me up. Come check out my Facebook, check out my Instagram, and, you know, check out my website, my business page. Come support. You can donate if you just want to do that, if you ain't got time to go be doing all of that. You can just donate what you can. Anything is appreciated. It helps us get by. You hear me? So... And if it, if it can't help us get our room and help us get food or, you know, get us closer to having a hotel. Right now we're living at a hotel. Every time we make a sale, we get in a hotel. So, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. You, We can always, you know, bargain something for yourself. I don't go lower than 100 depending on, you know, I don't go lower than 100. Hit me up, though. I'm here. Um, and I will share the donation and a uh, donation link and also uh my business page my website and my ig and my and my ig and my facebook and just let us know if you have any more questions get your order on come get your power piece you hear me fun we got it we out here for real we spread the wisdom and we spread the love and now we just need your support because we're tired of being homeless and we have plenty that to give. So come, come get what you, come get what you serve and what you need. And all we need in exchange is to give you, is to have it in return. All right. So much love and happy ascension and have a great day. Bye, Bingo.